case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1955 case of Kansas City Power and Light Company v. McKay, several electric utility companies in Kansas, Missouri, and Arkansas sued the federal government, challenging the validity of a federally supported power program. The plaintiffs claimed that the government's actions created unlawful competition and sought relief under the Declaratory Judgment Act, hoping to block funding for power facilities and sales, and to declare that the defendants had no authority to carry out the alleged plan. However, the district court denied their motion to dismiss, finding their loan contracts and lease agreements legal and authorized. The case ultimately reached the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, which focused on the issue of standing, the legitimate reason for a party to be harmed by the government's actions. The court ruled that the plaintiff's interest in the case, based solely on competition, was not sufficient for them to sue, and thus they lacked standing. Furthermore, they held that Congress, not the courts, should review the government's non-regulatory activities. The court rejected the plaintiff's arguments of an unlawful conspiracy and lack of power, concluding that their motion to dismiss should have been granted. The case was subsequently remanded to the district court with directions to dismiss the complaint. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.